what? This is a classic film from the golden age of animation. I don't care if you think it's lame. Not all cartoons involve lasers and explosions. In fact... <sighs> okay, let's answer a letter instead. Dear Tim and Moby, One of my friends has an illness called hypophosphatasia. I don't know what that means. Can you help? Thanks for writing in, Chad. Hypophosphatasia is an illness that affects people's bones, making them softer than they should be. Well, your bones contain minerals like calcium and phosphorus. Your body adds them to your bones in a process called mineralization. This makes bones strong and rigid. Right, Moby. Hypophosphatasia prevents bones from undergoing mineralization. People who have hypophosphatasia have trouble making an enzyme called alkaline phosphatase, or ALP. Without this important enzyme, certain chemicals build up and prevent calcium and other minerals from being deposited in the bones. As a result, the bones can become soft and curved. This condition is known as rickets. Bones with rickets can also become fragile. Yup, teeth are made of minerals, so kids with hypophosphatasia may lose their baby teeth. No, you can't catch it from someone. Hypophosphatasia is a genetic disorder, which means it's encoded in the DNA you inherit from your parents. DNA is like a genetic blueprint for your body. Even though hypophosphatasia is inherited, it sometimes doesn't show up right away. Babies who develop the disorder in their mother's wombs can wind up with severe skeletal deformities. But when kids are diagnosed during childhood, it's usually less serious. Still, it can be difficult and unpleasant, since kids with hypophosphatasia often have pain in their bones and joints. Children with the disorder are often a little bit shorter than others their age. Their skulls might be shaped a little differently, their walk might seem a little off, and they can't run fast or walk very far. And because their bones can break easily, they have to be careful not to play too hard or jump around too much. But kids with hypophosphatasia are just as smart and normal as everyone else. Yes, sometimes adults can be diagnosed with hypophosphatasia, but usually there are signs very early in life. That's a good question. Unfortunately, there's no cure for hypophosphatasia. It's a really rare disorder, and for many years, doctors knew very little about it. But today, scientists are hard at work trying to find an effective treatment. Hopefully, there will soon be a way to give patients the ALP they need through enzyme replacement therapy. But right now, all doctors can do is help kids and their families and friends deal with the symptoms. Yep, that's about it. Told you it wasn't that hard to understand. Yeah, I'd like to watch TV too, but somebody blew it up. Wow, does that... is that gonna work? I'm sorry, but the steamship hijinks were way better.